<sighs> Why me? Welcome back, folks, to uh, Silent Hill 2 here on the Heavy Base X channel. God, I hate escorting parts. I, it's the one major drag in this game. And of course, the one the person you have to escort with you is her. Maria. Oh, boy. Yeah. The one that looks like Mary is not Mary, it is actually Maria. She is technically the secondary character for this game. And considering there's not in Silent Hill was never much known for its, its cast of characters, yeah, you could even tell she's not exactly gonna be truthful here. Anyway, now that we have Maria, it is now time to look kit to try and head out of here and escort um well, we have to find a little girl now. She's... Well, technically, this is Sun and Hill, and we're surrounded by monsters and creatures. Yet, she doesn't seem to think there's anything at all. Which is kind of an interesting fact, considering that... You are a bitch. Oh, nothing. What was that? Nothing. I said nothing, and you heard me say it. Headed this way, we'll be getting out of Rosewater Park. Before we do that, there's a few items you can pick up. Also, this is where it gets interesting because at this point in the game, if Maria gets killed, it's game over for you. No, literally, it's game, they literally make you, make you, and I mean make you, drag your ass all this, go very slowly, she'll miss out, and I believe I spotted an item. I think I have. Or I might, or I heard a monster. Oh crap! Monsters! In my, what the fuck that is? <laughs> Shit. Considering there's a lack of bullets too. Mm. There's not much you can say. I really need, I really need to conserve my ammunition here. Well, mostly due to the fact I wasted 40 freaking bullets trying to put, up, put a pyramid at the previous part. I really need to start saving my weaponry. You never know what's going to happen. Out here in the midst of the, um, out here in the midst, in the midst of, uh, Silent Hill's fog, you'll be perplexed by enemies, as you probably saw in one of the free parts heading towards Blue Creek. As you may have heard... This is going to be the map for the rest of the game, barring one instance where you have to go back to the previous map. And that's about it. And there's another enemy. You can shoot them a few times with the gun, and then you can just step on them to finish them off. Yeah, I can pretty much just... Uh, and Maria is with you. She doesn't attack or anything, you just have to score her. It's just... Uh, of course. That's not much you can say, really. It is technically a good ga scary game, it's just this bit is a bit of a drag. It's just not good. I know for a fact that, well, there's nothing, I would say go check out the inn, but at this point of the game, there's not much in the inn, and I think I just spotted another enemy. Yep, I certainly do, these fucking mannequins are everywhere. And they're dead! Well, this one is just shot the third one. So, before we ask, we can easily go back to the inn, but there's nothing there, so I would keep saying, keep moving on this road. This is going to be a majority of where the next over the game is going to be. And sadly, they did actually use this bit from side of when you go back to the side of the proper for the third one. Considering the abstract references this game got. Less time, but... What do you expect? There's another freaking enemy here. Jesus Christ, mannequin! Took a fuck ton of bullets there. Yeah, I kind of agree. This is really complicated. What we really need here, what we need is a... We're heading towards a gas station. Now, this is really interesting. Hopefully, there should be something that we could have there. Okay, what's that noise? No, really, what is that noise? It sounds like something, a car... Ah! That is exactly what we need. The perfected steel pipe. Oh, now we can start, cause we can now start conserving those ammunition rounds. Save them for later. I have 170, I have 107 bullets. Holy fuck. It's a lot of bullets. That's what you get for, um... 
Now that we have the steel pipe, the steel pipe is a much stronger version than the bloody wooden stick. The, the crappy nail with the with a plank with a nail on it. it it's going to be our main melee weapon for killing our monsters up close. You're going to be using this a bit. It's the best weapon to kill monsters too. Conserve all the ammunition to serve them for for bosses. So let's take a look around the gas station. Rhea does Rhea is follows you automatically, unlike some escort missions in Resident Evil 4. <coughs> fuck that shit. Great game, but fuck the escort missions. The only reason why these things exist. This is normal. This is like normal mode, and I've gotten like more bullets and a freaking health drink. No, seriously, there's not much you can just... I'm just gonna go on a freaking tangent here. Um, I really don't like Maria in this game. Yeah, spoil... Yeah, I'm not gonna say why I don't like her, but technically explaining in detail about Maria is technically a spoiler warning for those that never played the games. Yeah, it's a spoiler warning, not a trigger warning, because I'm not offensive and you should not be offensive. If you, if you don't like spoilers, if you've never played this game. But if you have played the HD collection with some really decent voice acting, and might I add some excellent voice acting from the uh, Troy Troy Baker and company, yeah. Which is not the original one entirely. I mean, no, 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 I mean, it's exactly... They didn't go with a freaking new cash, etc, etc, etc. Yeah, I believe I've heard a few noises. Yeah, there's not, there's not much in this gas station that we can really go for. I mean, this base is just completely covered in mist, and it's just like, yeah, no. So, right, I believe we should, we should out leave the gas station and start exploring the, explore the route some more. Okay, let's just, let's just casually go up, the, up this road here. Yeah, I think we can head towards the historical society. So they think on that map as well, and that fucking phone starting to piss me off. Oh, that's another item here. There is. Um, yeah. That this is the one problem I have with Silent Hill 2 is some of the items are hard to spot. Yeah, he look. Yeah, James can turn his head and knows where the items are, but considering this is a fucking, cause I can't, I can barely see. It just takes a bit. I believe there's like a bit of. There it is. A health drink. Excellent. Yeah. I mean, what else could Silent Hill just, like, literally just throw at me? I mean, yeah. Let's use a health drink and we gain some one of a loss of our health. Okay, let's just go. Let's just pop. Let's just run up those road here. Yeah, you probably may think to yourself, oh, is there a purpose to go up the road? Oh, yeah. I always kind of figured that if you go up the road, there's always at least some way of finding out. Albeit there's the fact there's like a probably of some enemies hidden in the mist. You should always do. Uh, radio should be able to detect them. Remember, Maria, you have to keep it on Maria, as stupid as it is, because if she dies, game over. And then how early it is, yeah. Let's just let's just keep running up here. Don't worry, she'll run with you. Unlike Silent Hill 4, where the where the other where the other person that you that you saved. It's yeah, stupid. I mean, I mean seriously, it's stupid. She doesn't even go fast. That's a, is that? Oh, tire screeching. That's not good. That tends. That is never tends to be good. Okay, well here we are at a historical society. Now, as much as we love, we I think we'd be like, you know, what the? Um, did you just all see that? What I just saw there. Literally, the game just threw up a mannequin. What the fuck? No, really, they just literally. Oh, he's getting. He's oh, quick, he's getting closer to the side effect. Quick, throw a mannequin. Loop. Oh, did, uh, as it was already weird enough with the stupid UFO ending from the first game. Now enemies are literally throwing themselves at my feet. What the shit? Um. I believe we could just run us run away all run all the way to the hotel and this should be an easy game. Ah, I knew this was gonna be too fucking simple. Konami It was too fucking good to be true, wasn't it? Too good to be true. Oh. 
Well, someone's been horribly, horribly murdered. Viciously. Either he's been stepped on to death or... Uh, the only the important thing he's noticed is that there's a circle around the, the bowling alley. Which means we have to go to the bowling alley next. And then, the, and then they highlighted the Historical Boat Society, which we're going to be taking a look. It's going to be an important place later on. I don't, I don't know why you've got the important part. Alright, let's just head back. This it was, it was just a grand grand excuse to head up here, because I've never been up here before. It's not like the enemies are just going to throw themselves at me. I mean, what kind of a stupidity thing is that? Is it Holy shit, happened again! Literally! They're coming out of the fucking wood they're coming out of the fucking woodwork, are they? What is it? Now Behind the scenes, Konami develops that quick, they're getting too close! Quick! Throw them an enemy! Toss him up toss a dwarf! <coughs> I think there's a cool factor here, but I think literally they're coming out of the fucking woods! They're out of the side, you can't go into the you can't go through there, but all of a sudden, toss an enemy. Boom! Yeah! Again! You all saw that! They literally throw enemies at you! What have they got behind the scenes? Catapults! A team a team of dwarves? I don't know! Literally! I think I'm just gonna call this enemy. I don't think I'm just gonna call this episode enemy to enemy tossing. Apart from the obligatory, I hate escorting. Oh, for fuck's sake! Game, you're doing that, sir, sir, sir. I was trying to explain things, but you were not really doing anything at all. Excuse me. I was trying to explain shit. Thank you. You suck. Good day. I. This is. Just, it's just you. Okay, couple of things to establish. One, I hate Maria. Two, I don't like the fact they started to toss out enemies from fucking nowhere. I swear, they literally have Konami's got like a team of dwarves looking behind the scenes, throwing enemies if you get too fucking close. I mean, it could be like, oh, it's not a problem. There is no bloody what problem with them. You can effing kill them with a steel pipe. Steel pipe is godly in Silent Hill, and just like the first one, it was godly, and now it's godly in this one too. I mean, really? And you can't really kill many enemies in the third one because it fucks because it chooses a stupid ending. Oh dear! Spoiler alert! Woo! Oh, finally, we arrived at the bowling alley. Good, I can finally just get, can actually head off and rent, vent about shit for a bit. I'll wait here. I and hate good, Maria bowling. hates bowling too. I didn't come so to basically, play, Sasquatch can now play Halo that. 3. Thank okay. fucking goodness. Anyway, this is heading towards the end of the part. Uh, see you all next time, folks. Bye for now.